Hey everybody, welcome back to my shop. In this video I'm making a box to donate to the Beads of Courage organization. If you're not familiar with Beads of Courage, they are a charity organization that helps children with some terrible diseases by giving them beads for their courage. I'll have some links down in the description to find out more about this great organization. After making my layout marks, I start by shaping the sphere for the box. Now I'm using a sheer scraping technique with the wing of the gouge to clean up my cuts a little bit. Here I'm making a part line for the lid of the box. I stopped with an inch left and finished with a handsaw while the lathe was turned off. I'm using a 5 8 bowl gouge to hollow out the bottom of the box using a push cut. This is a square scraper that I modified by sharpening the left edge. I'm using it to square off the top edge and cut a shoulder for the lid to sit in. I got ahead of myself when I cut off the top. I forgot to drill the hole for the knob so that I could reverse mount it to finish off the underside of it. I'm using a set of cold jaws to drill a three quarter inch hole for the knob. I reverse mounted the lid in a set of pin jaws to hollow out the inside. I'm using a quarter inch bowl gouge to accomplish this.
box all finished, it's time to start working on the knob. I'll be shaping, cutting a recess for the beads, then sanding it. See you once it's all together. Here's the completed box. This box is going to a child who is going through some hard times fighting a nasty disease. These boxes keep their beads safe that give them encouragement and the acknowledgement of all the treatments and procedures that they have been through. If you have the ability to make one of these boxes, I encourage you to make one. If you can't, but still want to help, Beads of Courage takes cash donations to help carry out their mission. I have links in the description down below to find out more about this great organization. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click on that like button and comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if this was your first time watching.